Welcome back to another Coding ASMR video. Today I'll be coding, solving two problems using JavaScript. So before we begin coding, this is Akshan. He's my favorite character in League of Legends. He is really, really sneaky and he loves to swing and hide. So in this video, he's gonna hide. And at one point, he's gonna swing around and pop up for a second. If you happen to find him, comment down below the timestamp. So let's start. So the first problem I'll do is this one. This is the easiest one, so I like to warm things up. Fizzbuzz, the classic Fizzbuzz. I think I've done it with Java before, I don't remember, but I'm doing it with JavaScript. So there's no, there's no big difference here, so Fizzbuzz. So here it is, given an integer n return a string array of the answers where if the answer at the array if the number if i i mean is evenly divisible by 3 and 5 i'm going to put fizzbuzz and then if it's not if it's only divisible by 3 it's just fizz and if it's divisible by 5 it's buzz or else just leave it as a number if none of these conditions are true. So I'm going to just look over the examples. Example one, I give in a number of three. I give it a number of three as the number. And then I'll do, I'll start with one, two, and then fizz. Then if I would give a number of five, I'll do, I'll do. I'll do one, two, fizz, four, buzz. And for the third one, it's a long one, but if I would give, for example, 15, it's fizz buzz because 15 is divisible by three and five. So let's solve this one. So I'm gonna pull up my IDE. I've got my dummy HTML, so, and I have my test running server so live server and I have hello world printed so now let's start so in fizzbuzz I'm going to give one parameter which is a number let's leave it as n or I think it's i but I'll just leave it as n so so what I'm going to do here is, is I'm going to make a while loop. So while, I'm going to start at one, so. Or maybe we just do a for loop here. So we do for and const. It's our, it's our incur, it's our iterator variable. Let's do let. And while i is uh, less than or equal to n, and i that. And let's do an array. Let's declare an array. So we need to fill this array with the num with the with the with the results. So it's going to start off empty and over the course of the for loop I go from i to n and each iterator I will loop through that and push to the array and so if I remember correctly I'll just do an if here, if i is, I'm going to do modulus 3 equals 0. If you do not know, I think mod modulus is basically division but returns the remainder. So like 5% 3, which is 5 modulus 3, that would return true because 5, divi five divided by 3 is 
is one, I th yeah, one, but return, but the remainder is two. So five divided by three is one, but with the remainder of two. So if I mod just mod three is equal to zero and I mod I mod five is equivalent to zero. I would push results that push fizz buzz. All right. Else if if only if I is is if is divisible by three only so. I modulus three is zero, so it's only divisible by three, but not divisible by five. I'll probably put fizz only. So results push fizz. So if I remember correctly, fizz if I is divisible by three. Whoops. And then Else, if I, in this case, it's if it's only divisible by five, I'll do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Push. I'll push buzz only. So results that push. Buzz. So it just push is like a method in an array an array method that that appends to the end of the array so yeah and then otherwise I'll just push the number all right so and I'll probably return results so let me try this. So So I'm going to do I'm going to call this function and return at console log the return value of fizzbuzz let's say 5 Three, let's do three and then five and then probably 15 I think these are the test values so now I'm gonna try to test it out to see if I compare them so if I would compare the first one second one and the third one they kind of match so if I would see the first one let's say one two fizz was my expected and the actual was 1, 2, and fizz. Because fizz for 3 is divisible by 3. So for the first one, for the fourth one, I get 4 and buzz as my expected output. And my actual output is 4 and buzz. So I, I would expect 4 and buzz. And I actually got the same thing because buzz would result if the number is divisible by 5 is if my number is divisible 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 by 5 so and keep in mind these previous values are the same thing for the the th outcomes for the first one because these are the same numbers the previous ones from 1 to n and the last one I would see fizz six seven eight nine for fizz and buzz for ten eleven fizz thirteen fourteen and fizz buzz so fizz buzz I would expect that and I actually got it because fizz, fizz buzz is a result for 15 which is divisible divisible by three and five so yeah so this problem is finished so I would say that this is the easy one. This is just to warm things up. So let's start with the next one. So this one here, richest customer wealth. <laughs>
So this is the second problem that I have to do. So let's do this. So you're given an array of arrays. So an array of accounts where accounts at i and j is the amount of money the ith customer is in the jth bank. So like so like a customer so each subarray represents a customer and each number represents how much money that customer is the customer has in that bank that he that he is banking at. So I'm gonna return the sum of these values so each so and the richest one is is the customer that has the max wealth so let's see so before I begin I'm gonna try to test something out let's see if there is an, a max method in there an array I think I remember So let's do, let's make a function that, that reduces the subarrays into one value. So uh, let's see, there's a function that adds all of these subarrays values into one single value in each and whole array. So basically adding all of the money for each customer so let's do it so what's the function that we have to make let's just do risk let's just do uh, let's just do riches wealth so let's call it richest and accounts so let's see the accounts I will have to create is an array it's an array of arrays so uh, so I'm gonna do create a test array so let's do const equals Three hundred dollars like that. Like an array of three people owning three three and two accounts respectively. So each subarray is one is one banker. Each, this one has, is one person. This one's another person. Each number is how much money that person has in that bank. Okay, so my goal is now I'm going to use the map fi the map function. So map function is kind of a function that updates every element of one array. So <clears throat> I'm going to I am going to So I'm going to do some money, which is uh, which is each time you map this accounts array, and each and each account. I'm going to do. I'm going to return a reduce method. So I'm going to use in each iteration. A method called reduce because in each array in each each value of this array is a subarray and I'm trying to combine add all of these <coughs> money together. So I'm gonna do account dot reduce. So bank 
and bank. Wait, like let's do current pref because you have to add the current to the previous. So like that. I think so. Current plus plus pref. That's your reducer function. And I'm going to log that out. So, all right, let me do something here. Put it in a variable because I want to. I want to log the value to see how much it is. Console log is kind of printing the values, so I'm using it to see how much if I'm getting the values I really want to. So, console log, let's do current, oh, uh, sum, yeah. And at the end, I'll console log the summed money. Whoops. Summed money money so yes all right so I'm gonna now I'm gonna now start debugging this and slowly work with my way to the solution so so I'm gonna call the function richest account I'm going to remove this. I don't really need this. Let's comment that out. Okay, so 608 and 65. So these are the values of what would be the sum of the array. Why did I put a return here? So it should be return sum. Rum, not rum, sum. Okay, so these are the values I would get if I would combine all of these. And so if I would see this adds up to 600, this adds up to eight, and this adds to 65. If I can explain what I coded, basically this, I'm gonna store it in a constant, and I'm taking this 2D array, which is the array of a person's bank accounts, array of all the people, basically, and I'm going to take this array, this whole array, and map it. Mapping is changing, basically changing the values of each, each values of each array, modifying each value of that array, so modifying this big array. So, and each map count is basically the value, each value of the array, which is also an array of values which are money money is represented by banks how much money a bank has where the person is the pink array let's say and what i'm doing here is i make a constant which is sum and in that specific account that one account let's say this one i'm going to call reduce and this basically takes a sum of all of the values in that array and returns the sum. So, if I would re if I would explain what reduce is, it's basically take the current. If the previous is if there's no previous just store the current and each iteration you just add add let's say 200 from 100, then you take that resulted to 300 and then the next time you add 300 to that previous, which is 300, which was 300, and it gives you 600. And so, and we return that, and basically that's what you get for each iteration of the map. And that's, and you've got two more arrays, so basically you redu reduce again, add all these values, and you would get eight. 
and that, and then you do move on to the last array and you add 60 and then 5 to give you 65 each iterator each iteration of the map calls reduce which adds these arrays and combines to the sum so basically adding all of the money for each person so now all I have to do is find the max of the richest so now what I'm going to do is let's sort let's and let's put it in the let and not a constant because I'm going to store that and I'm going to console log no, not constructor. So basically, yeah, it stores from largest to, to smallest by default. I'm going to call sort, and I probably return return some money at zero because that's the largest money. And I don't need to store it in the variable. So probably return this guy here. All right. So. So yeah, 600. So I kind of completed a function and I called the richest function and it gave me 600. And now I don't need this anymore. Sort from largest to smallest and return largest. Alright, so I realized something. So if I could compare and use use my test cases, it seems that my arrays are not sorting properly. So this array here, the second one, is a sorted version, supposedly, but it's sorting decrease in decreasing order. But in the next one, it's de it's sorting in increasing order. So basically it's inconsistent so I've looked it up and it has to do with my sort method here this sort method sorts alphabetically so it's basically sorting by with the string so what I need to do to sort all if it to sort numbers is I would have to use a compare function so like I pass in a compare function so I would compare like that an arrow function and the return value is basically the value that determines whether to swap or put one value before the previous or put the one after the previous so this a minus b which, which would be that if if it's more if it's minus one I would probably put it below I think to the left and if it's positive it can I will put it after so this would sort all of the array in ascending order and if I do b minus 1 in the compare function the return value b minus a I would sort in decreasing order so I want to sort in decreasing order from largest to smallest and basically it sorts in decreasing order so I keep getting mixed up with the compare function whether if it's minus one minus a negative here at return value or positive for the return because if it's positive I'm not sure if it puts the value before or after because that's where you in the compare the return value determines 
whether to swap or not swap when you sort. So it's basically that I, I have to pass in the compare function to sort arrays of numbers. Okay, largest to smallest. So, so if we would compare the example one, I would need an output, I would expect an output of six, and basically that's my output. If I would compare, test it, compare my expected output for the second one, I'm expecting 10, and I actually got 10, which is the output. And then the last one, I expect to be 17, and that's my output. So basically, this is basically combining all of the, summing all of the numbers in the inner array to one value, and then getting the maximum by sorting it in decreasing order and returning that. So I've guessed I kind of solved this problem. I had to use Stack Overflow at this point because the sorting function got me stumped for quite a bit so i guess i'm i should call this a night so this will be the end of this video please give it a like if you caught your tingles and comment down below don't forget if you found akshan comment down the timestamp where you found him so if you missed him just rewatch the video and he might swing around at one point so Stay tuned for the next ASMR video and peace out.